Hello people, hello family, what's going on? What's going on in the world? <sighs> this water is nice. Room temperature, but yeah, that's how I like it. All right, so as you can see, I'm sitting in, I'm sitting in my vehicle, right? And uh, I was driving and I just thought to, you know, share some thoughts with anyone who wants to listen. Um, if you don't catch a live live, rewatch it from beginning to end. Don't forget to like and uh, also comment, okay? Thank you in advance, and I appreciate those who take the time to watch my videos. I appreciate you. And uh, whoever is on now, thank you for joining the live. I'm sitting in the car. I just wanted to share some thoughts, and I pulled over to do so, so yeah. So here goes the title um, that I used in this one was put on your oxygen mask first, right? So for those of you who have been on an airplane before, you know that when the air hostess, um, when the flight is, before the flight takes off, the air hostess goes through um, or the flight attendant, they stand in front of you and they go through a list of things that you should do if there is um, some kind of issue in the flight, right? If they need to, let me put this on silent. So if someone, if someone um, is on a plane you are seated then the flight attendants will come and they say words of if um something is happening on the plane where they need to land in an emergency these are the steps that you have to take they show you the emergency exits etc etc one of the things they tell you is that um your oxygen mask is above you in your seat right and they tell you that you should put on your oxygen mask first before you assist anyone else now that is very very important and i believe that can be used as an analogy of how we should operate in life right in our daily walk so i'm here to tell someone now and i've learned this myself because i haven't always done it and i'm still learning is that you need to put on your oxygen mask first before you help someone else. Even if you haven't been on the plane, um, you, now you can understand why I use that title, right? So in life, you're on a journey similar to an airplane, you're headed somewhere. Now, some people don't know where they're headed. They're born and they live day to day. They don't know where they're headed. They don't know if they're going and they're coming right so you're headed somewhere whether you want to accept it or not time is passing time doesn't wait for anyone if you sit here and say oh it's 7 30. i don't want it to be 7 30. guess what you can't change that right but what you can change is what you do in the time that you're in in the present time right you can't change yesterday you can't change your past and you certainly can't change your future however the things you do today can help you have, potentially have a better future, one that's more fruitful, less burdensome, um, less sickness in your life, more joy, more peace, and that depends on what you're doing today. So the term, put your oxygen mask on first, is very important in what I'm going to speak on today. So oxygen as you should know 
is needed for light, right? Now the oxygen mask, if you're on an airplane and things are getting rocky, right? You, they tell you put on your seatbelt, the plane is going down, and, or they're doing an emergency landing, you need to put on that oxygen mask so that you can survive this, this um, turbulence, this hard hit that the plane is gonna take, right? So if you don't put on that oxygen mask, you're not gonna be able to help the other people. If you're busy helping whoever is next to you, whether it's your family member, friend, someone you don't even know, if you're busy trying to help them put on theirs, get, what do you think is gonna happen to you? You're gonna help them, they're gonna have their oxygen mask on. Next thing you realize, oop, you got a couple seconds left before that plane hit the ground hard and you didn't even take the time to put yours on. So now you, now you got impacted hard, you may even lose your life, right? Or end up in the hospital because you did not put on your mask before you helped someone else. Um, and in life, if you live long enough to learn certain things or to sit back and analyze, you'll realize um, a lot of things that you have gone through or maybe are going through right now, it's because you've been busy helping everybody else. You've been so busy helping everybody else that you forgot to put on your mask first. You forgot to help yourself, right? I am very guilty of that. I mean, if I look back over the years, a lot of times I've helped so many people that I've unhelped myself. Helping, helping, helping. Who helps the helper? Nevertheless, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't help, right? But I think you should have a balance in life. So before you start helping people while unhelping yourself, you need to assess that. Be honest with yourself. Are you in a position to help whoever you're helping? Now, you know, that person may be going through hard times, right? And you feel your heart is reaching out to them and you feel so bad that you have to help them. That's how you feel, right? And then you take your last and give to them. And now you're struggling, 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 and you dug yourself into a hole that you can't get out of. You're underwater, struggling, can't swim. Be careful. Be careful. Everybody has their burden to carry, right? Everybody has their burden to carry. Now, no matter how, you, how much you help, there's something that I heard and it's so true. Sometimes no matter how much you help, it's not enough for some people. And sometimes it's because sometimes people need so much help that whatever you can help is still not going to be enough because there's something they need to do to elevate themselves out of their situations. I've been there where someone has helped me but that little help i'm grateful for it but being in such a hole it's hard for that help to get you where you need to go so you know um that you got to be true to yourself and where you are at that time right so as i said no matter how much you help sometimes it's not enough for people and sometimes people um will take advantage of that too right there's a saying, if you lay flat, even if you lay flat on the ground, there's people out there who's going to say you're not flat enough. <laughs> even if you're skinny, for those who want to be funny, right? Because <laughs> people might be saying, oh, I'm big, so of course I'm not flat enough. So even if you lay flat on the ground, you thin as a board, somebody will say you're not flat enough. So there you go. No matter what you do, sometimes it's not enough for people. So be true to yourself. Do what you can do. But sometimes you have to know that enough is enough. Um, another thing I wanted to say is you teach people how to treat you, right? 
So if you allow people to walk all over you after you lay flat on the ground and now they're walking over you, guess what? You did that. You contributed to why they're walking on you. You lay flat there because that's what they wanted. You weren't true to yourself. You know you should have been standing, but you're laying flat. So you teach people how to treat you. If people are doing some things that you don't feel is right and um, I have bags, I see. If people are doing some things to you that you don't agree with, be true to yourself and stand up for yourself to say, you know what? I don't like that. I'm not going to take that from you. You don't have to be nasty, right? But stand up for yourself. You deserve peace. You, I want you to look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, you, you know, I deserve peace. I deserve peace. You deserve peace as much as you're trying to help someone to have peace in their lives, right? Sometimes we um, avoid problems and conflict and we keep certain people in our lives. And by doing so, we also keep negativity in our lives because some of those people come with negativity, right? Sometimes you have to let go to gain peace. Put your oxygen mask on first. Put it on. There are people um, in your life where when you're around them, it's like they're draining your energy. There are people who may be calling you on the phone and before you answer the call or you're contemplating answer your, the call, you're, you're hooing and hawing. That's what Jamaican people would say, right? Wonder if I should answer this call. Am I going to stress me out, Lord? Maybe you shouldn't answer that call. Be true to yourself. If you know, if you pick up that phone, that person is going to be pumping and dumping on you. They're going to be dumping all their problems and issues. I'm not saying don't be a listening ear, but know where to draw your limit. Know what you can handle and depend on where you are in your walk in life. Maybe that's not the moment to talk to that person. You love them, but maybe talk to them another time when you're in a healthier space, a healthier mental space, a healthier physical space. Because some of them people that you answer the phone, I guess what going They're going to draw your energy down. You're going to feel depressed when you hang up. You don't forget about your problems and helping them with their problems. And guess what? They never even asked you, are you okay? What's up with you? All they did was vomit. Vomit, vomit, vomit. So put your oxygen mask on first. Um... You know, I think, well, not I think. Right now, I'm at a place where I'm at peace. I'm at peace with a lot of things, right? I don't have a lot of things that I want to have. I'm not in the position that I want to be in. And I could complain about so much. I have a lot I can complain about that I don't have. I can complain about a lot that's going wrong in my life, but I won't, right? Um, the peace that I have, the world didn't give it to me and the world cannot take it away unless I let that happen, right? So I have peace that comes from God and this shalom, right? This peace that comes from God, I'm so grateful for because when you have the peace that God gives you, this mental, spiritual peace, you will have problems. But the difference is that you will handle those problems differently, right? You don't have to pump and dump 
on everybody you meet. You don't have to be angry all the time. It don't mean you don't have problems. People may see you at your lowest. And they won't even know because you have a smile on your face. Now, I'm not saying to smile when everything is wrong all the time. But I'm saying whatever you're going through doesn't have to show on your face. Right? It doesn't have to show in your aura. You don't have to treat people nasty because you're struggling. People are struggling too. And a lot of them have smiles on. They're going and they're trying to make it work. So be kind to each other. You don't know what the next person is going through. You might think every this person has it all together, but they don't. And if you know what that person is going through, if you are in their shoes, you probably would go crazy. If you know what um, the next person around you is going through, and if you were going through that thing, you would probably go crazy. You would probably be sick. Even though you're looking at somebody and saying, oh, they got it all together. They probably don't, but you're thinking, that's your assumption that somebody has it all together. So... Don't think because somebody is getting up, going to work, whether they're going to a 9 to 5, they are um, have their own business. Don't think they got it all together because they're suited and booted and look good. People are struggling. Not everybody, but there are people out there struggling who you can't tell. So be kind to each other. You don't know what somebody is going through. And you're, if you treat somebody nasty today, you don't know how far that's going to go. That might lead to that person going home, treating somebody else nasty, and then it just continues, right? Oh, somebody's on Jake now. Outfit check. <laughs> what does that mean, Jake? <laughs> Thanks for joining, by the way. Um, so I said, the peace I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. Um, sometimes when... God, right? When the Creator is preparing to elevate you to a new level in your life, a higher level. Um, a lot of troubles will come your way. There's people around you who may betray you. You'll feel lonely. There'll be people leaving your, your life left, right, and center. Friends you've had over the years, family members. All of a sudden, people are drifting away from you. You don't know why. Because you're going in a different direction than them. You have money problems, family problems. Maybe your health isn't well. Sometimes um, it's because God is isolating you, right? Separating you from other people so that you can be still. Still meaning not busy, busy, busy. So busy that you're not even really in reality you're just going 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 you don't even remember what you ate for breakfast and it's not even dinner time um so sometimes god will make sure that you're still and in this in this time he'll remove the people away from you who shouldn't be around you right He'll remove the wrong energy away from your life. People who are energy vampires, as I was saying before. There are people who may call you and they just drain your energy. People you go around them, maybe you're at a family gathering. And every time you go around those certain people, you just feel drained. And just thinking about going to an event that they're at, you're like, ah, should I go? Because this person's going to be there and they're going to be gossiping. They're going to be doing this. You know, you got to put yourself first. Put on your ox oxygen mask first before you help other people. If you don't help yourself first, you'll be of no use helping anyone else. That's a hard pill to solve for some people because some people are naturally kind. They give and give and give until they've poured their glass of water out until they have nothing left for themselves. And then you become parched. And nobody's there to fill your cup up. So be very careful. It's um, good to work on having a balance in life, right? 
and if you're too busy you're you live this life you'll walk through life and never know your purpose there are people around that are just angry every day maybe not the whole day but they're angry angry not at you it may seem like they're angry at you but they're angry because they're really angry at themselves they're angry at God they're angry because they're here in this world they're angry because they can't change that they're here and they don't know their purpose and that's the real reason why they're angry but it's coming out in different ways it's coming out that they're fussing about this fussing about that they have road rage any little thing took them off but the real reason is because they're unhappy inside they're unhappy because they could be having a midlife crisis things are not going well they are pretty much sleeping with the enemy they're home with whoever their partner is or spouse or lover whatever you want to call that person and they may not be in a good space with that person and then they take it out on other people so don't waste your energy trying to understand why some things happen sometimes sometimes you just gotta know that you will never know everything in this life some things are reserved for god to know only and you'll bust your brain trying to figure out some things oh i wonder why this person stopped talking to me sometimes you just can't figure it out they they're not talking to you anymore maybe you had a slight disagreement um, some miscommunication then maybe they heard something about you from somebody gossiping and now they don't talk to you anymore but they never spoke to you directly to have a conversation so now they have assumptions and because of that they stop talking to you um, so I'm gonna wrap this up but the main message here is put on your oxygen mask Make sure that you're taking care of yourself before you're taking care of others because people will drain your energy and you'll have no use to yourself. So you deserve peace. Okay, you deserve peace. No matter what you have done in your life, you deserve peace because when there's a new day, you have a new start. Whatever you did in the past does not matter in the sense that you can't change it. But you can work on being a better person, a better wife, better husband, better mother, better father, better sister, brother, better brother, a better human being, right? So take care of yourself. And shalom, shalom. Peace be with you. Alright, so if you watch this, um, God bless you and comment, put on your oxygen mask. All right, be good.